And now it's finally tied with the champion, who this time is actually Lance. And his levels range from 44 to 50, and he specializes with dragons once more, and these with Gyarados at level 44. Now he's the only trainer out of the entire set that has a full 6 party. And two things that all of his Pokemon have in common is that they're all flying types, and they all have Hyper Beam. Now, the Dragonite also have the strongest uh, moves of certain types, so be wary like that, like uh, Thunder and Blizzard. Other than that, just bring a solid Ice side, Water and Electric to finish up, and yeah. Alright, time to get to I think this is supposed to be your team or something, and. Uh, oh, that wasn't automatic. Oh, that's automatic now! <laughs> I've been waiting for you, and the audio cuts out. Autumn, I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There is no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer, and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. And I really do like this music. It's one of the best ones in the game, well, fight-wise. Anyways, we have Big Boy Champion Lance. Has six Pokemon, the only Elite Form ever to have that. And he starts out like he did last time with Gyarados, level 44. Water and Flying type. He... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All you really have to do is just hit this thing with a good electric type move, and you're pretty much moving on to the next one. Alright, so with that one out of the way, that was his gimme Pokemon, to be honest. Alright, but now, alright, he's gonna get serious with us. He's gonna start sending out his Dragonites. He has a total of three Dragonites, including his most powerful one that tops out at level 50. And, let's see, 47. Alright. So yeah, this is still pretty powerful. So yeah, Dragonite, the final evolution of Dratini is... Oh, he's gonna be a bitch and paralyze me. It, it, he's a Dragon and Flying type Pokemon, so Ice-type moves will absolutely devastate these Pokemon. Because, well, yeah. And it didn't kill it, shoot. And he goes for the Sheep Hyper Beam. God damn it. Oh, come on! Really?! Oh my god! My luck cannot be that bad. Ugh. Ugh, I need Umbra for this. This is only the first fucking Dragonite. God, this game just hates me right now. It seriously does. I'm going to waste my other goddamn Max Revive. Because, yeah, he's just going to go strong with all of his other Dragonites. Ugh. Well, let's see what I can do with Lantern for now. Uh, let's see, Spark. Let's see how much this does. Yeah, he, at least he went and set off his other uh, 47 Dragonite. And that barely did shit. At least he didn't paralyze me, though. Um... Options are really low at this moment. Uh, let's just do another spark. I'm hoping I can paralyze it at some point. Can you move Twister? Huh. That's an odd choice. Yeah, oddly enough, Twister is a Dragon Titan. It doesn't really make much sense considering what the icon is like. But here, uh, it can't really do much damage to me, so I guess I'll go ahead and use my last Max Revive. Because uh, I really need... I need Umbra for the level 50 Dragonite. There's there's no two ways about that. I can... Damn, this paralyzed me. I can probably survive this Dragonite with Katara, but... God damn it, he's just going to be hyper-beaming all the time. Because he has a cheap-ass move. And that... Uh, I was about to say, that was going to crit me too, huh? Jeez. Alright. Uh, let's see. He's only going to use an item. here somewhere. There you are. I'm gonna be a cheap um, bastard too. I'm gonna use full heal. I'm full destroyer. Because <laughs> I do need Katara for the rest of the battles too. Oh, okay. I'm surprised that. I'm, I'm, no, I would have expected him to use a full restore right there. Max Potion. And level up. Yay! Alright, so let's see. Okay, he's going for broke. He's sending out his last Dragonite. He's desperate to kill me right now. Um, 
I, I, I have to send out Umbra. I have to. I can I, I just only hope that um, Hyper Beam doesn't bloody crit me again. Knowing my Bucky probably will. Especially that's this is the most powerful Dragonite. He's five levels ahead of me. Oh, she needs to be outraged. Oh, that's, that's actually kind of surprising. I thought it was just going to open up with Hyper Beam and try and kill me one shot. Alright, we have Outrage! Uh, let's see, Outrage, 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 what is it? Wow! Um, so, I don't think I'm going to survive another hit, so... Let's see, I want to get my HP up to a point where I can survive. I know, uh, damn it, now I really can't survive. Um... Yeah, where, where are... Uh, yeah, I use up my hyper potion, max potion, yeah. I need to keep Umbra alive. Not to mention Outrage, I know, is one of those moves that, you know, it has to go a few turns before it, um... Ah, damn it, I... Uh, I should've just finished it off. I probably... Yeah, I probably would've gotten through this thing and... Well, it was the same way. Alright, now Rage again, yeah. Aren't you supposed to be confused at this point? Alright, I... I survived with a bit more HP this time, so I can, I can definitely survive another one of those hits. Because since he did Outrage, he's locked into that move, so he can't Hyper Beam me. But of course he can crit me right now, and that, that'd be the end of it. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was too close. Nearly lost some red third time. Oh, man, that was too close. Alright, well, at least the dragons are out of the way. Oh, man, Aerodactyl. Damn it, I, I can't risk Umbra. Although Umbra could do six times damage again because of, um... Well, no, not six times, because I don't have type, the type, same type thing. But, like, Aerodactyl was rocking flying, so another Eyesight move would absolutely devastate this thing, too, but I, I can't put... God damn it, does all of this Pokemon know Hyper Beam? Ugh. What a cheap ass move. Damn, that crit too. The only reason I survived is because Katara actually has a bit of HP. Well, that's actually kind of unfair. Katara has like a high amount of HP compared to all my other Pokemon. Of course, they crit too. Ha, suck it. Alright, now we're on to the last Pokemon. Honestly, I kind of wish Katara was in a better state because it's Charizard. So yeah, but one he didn't have in the last time, but um, let's see. I need the healers. Yeah. I hate how I'm using all these damn max items. Cause it's really hard to get them back. I, either they're the kind of item that you can't get in stores, or the kind of item that costs... Sweet Jesus! All of this Pokemon have frozen ice and hyper beam, don't they? Ugh. Wow, that did nothing. Ha, <laughs> you had to recharge. Wow, that, that did that didn't do much at all. That was surprising. Especially because it's Charizard. What? He's a Charizard Hyper Beam! Damn, I nearly killed it in one. Ha! The hell with your Hyper Beams! You can't rely on that cheap move forever! And there we go. It's over, guys! <laughs> that was probably the roughest Elite Four I've gone through. Well, second to only my run through the fifth generation Elite Four. Jesus. I agree with that, I love. I don't want to read it. I don't really care. I used two Max Revives, Max Potions, Hyper Potions. Ugh. That was sloppy, even by my taste. Ooh, you have really become powerful, Autumn. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Oh, wait. Whoa, where did you come from? Oh no, it's all over! <laughs> Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. Ah, huh, this is kind of deja vu, huh? Ah, Autumn! It's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokémon made this happen. The Pokémon were outstanding, too. Because they believed in you as a... Trainer, they persevere. Yeah, and Max revives. <laughs> Congratulations, Autumn! Let's interview the brand new champion. 
I like this line here. This is going to be a bit too noisy. <laughs> oh, could you come with me? <laughs> I love that. Oh, no, wait! We haven't done the interview! Ah! <laughs> and really weird flooring. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we honor the League champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new League champion. A trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. A new League champion who has all the makings of greatness. Autumn, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. And wouldn't it be hilarious if you played this in an entire game where you pretty much fought your Pokemon to death and then, like, you pretty much went back to the Pokemon Center when, like, five of them were dead? <laughs> I'm evil. <laughs> Alright, but we're gonna see the Hall of Fame with Lantern, Katara, at 47. Elka, level 45. Well, yeah. <laughs> Ducks! Probably the first time anyone's put a far pitched into this place. <laughs> And of course, Umbra, the the one who stayed in the grave the most, which is fitting since he has dark and ghost type moves. Ah. <laughs> and of course, Flareon, Nova, level 46. And last but not least, and I kind of like how this turned out to be the last one, is Tsubaki, our first Pokemon ever. And of course, it's us. And we're gonna get ready for my pitiful Pokemon owning score. <laughs> Oh god, you're trying, I can see that. Your Pokedex is coming together. Oh boy! <laughs> oh well. Hey, they only make it one side now? Oh, that's nice. Aw, oh, I'll be too. <laughs> uh, I could swear I remember the gold and silver at the credits. You have the Pokemon moving and dancing on like the top and bottom of the screens. Well, anyways, yeah, this, um, well, this has certainly been only the first half of Pokemon Crystal, which is kind of depressing because, um, if, well, I'm, let's see, I'm wondering how to cut up these Leaf Board videos. I'm probably just gonna, like, be special and, like, um, cut them all into separate videos, but, um, what if not, like, about the time I have here, I would estimate I'd have about, this would be up to 45, 46 if I just combine them all into regular videos. So that's just, like, Two or three videos more than Pokemon Yellow. Well, it, well, where it took me to get to here. <laughs> that ditto. <laughs> but um, this is still, man, I, it's hard to realize like how long this game is compared to the first one because I mean, well, like I said, you're just halfway there. I mean, granted, the Kanto portion doesn't take nearly as long because, well, your Pokemon are already overly buffed and crap, so you can just waste most of the gym leaders. But, um, yeah, and I still got a few places in Johto Explore left. I still got the Royal Islands, I got, um, Mount War at some point, which I'll be getting to soon, because I can finally do something in there now. And, um, I don't really think I need to show Dark Cave. There's really nothing in there besides a few random items. But, yeah. Um, I'm probably just gonna get straight into recording for Kanto, though. But yeah, this is this has been the general portion, the initial portion of Pokemon Crystal, and now it's the first end, the end. <laughs> uh, and Trilly, and Dem Igneybus. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about this song. Oh god, I'm actually tearing up. What's wrong with me? This is... I really do like this song, though. You can only hear it at the credits. And, um, I think we're done here. <laughs> I press the button right there. It's a very touching music, though. Really nostalgic. Ugh, crying. Why am I crying? Alright. Let's get back to it. Oh my god, we're magically in New Bark Town again. And, uh, let's see. Move. Alright, yeah, everything's still in order. Alright, uh, where's mom? Wait, why can't I move? Oh, now you call me! Hello, Autumn? I'm right next door to you, you bitch! 
You can just come out the door and say hi to me! Oh my god. Alright, uh, let's see what he needs to say. He does burger. Fred Fred Burger. Alright, Autumn, there you are! I called because I have something for you. See? It's an SS ticket. And that's our gateway, essentially, into Kanto. Because it allows us to board the SS Aqua, which is a ship that doesn't sink. And one that we actually get to ride for once. But yeah, it departs from Olivine City, of all places. You knew that already, Autumn. After all, you traveled all over with your Pokémon. Give my regards to Professor Oak and Kanto. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video here, because... Yeah, that's just all what's gonna be next. So yeah, this is Guy Fisher 9. I am officially the Pokemon League champion. And then the next episode, we are finally gonna be on our way to Can uh, on the true mainland of Kanto, to the SS Aqua. So I will see you then, guys.